Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Monique Nicole. If this is your first time to the end, make sure you saw what you're doing and you press that subscribe button. So today I am dropping a vibrant color. I've been trying to roll out these vibrant colors for the month of October for my 31 days of October sway. So I do have some more colors, you know, to shock you for the rest of this month. But today is all about this gorgeous purple fuchsia pink wig that I have been eyeing for a long time. So let's get straight into it. So this baby right here is from a Free Trust Equal Premium Lace Front. And this is from their watercolor collection. As you know, the watercolor color method has been trending for a while to get these gorgeous, like different color, uh, multiple color ombres. So they definitely stepped out of the box with this one. So this is the stock card and I have this one right here in the middle. So I have this, this is Ayla or Ali, if that's how it's pronounced, in the color 30. Um, no, Ali 30, so this is 30 inches in the color OMP. H O in the color ombre phoenix y'all let me stop <laughs> in the color ombre phoenix and it's this color right here as you can see it's advertised in other colors which are beautiful as well and i really wanted to get this one because i just feel like this one just had like more definition as far as like the pop of color now i'm gonna just go straight into it it is a regular cap construction, so nothing fancy up under this wig. It comes with three combs, one on the right, one on the left, and one in the back with two adjustable straps. And it has inner ear lace with this right side parting. As you can see, I didn't pluck at all. All I did was cut the lace, and I did just put some foundation on top. Literally, y'all, that is it. So this is an easy slay. You don't have to spend like a whole... 15 to 30 minutes to try to get this on. I think I had got this together in like 10 minutes or possibly under. So, yeah, it was very good to go. This color, I didn't have to do any blending with my edges because the roots are dark. So, it has like a 1B and then it goes into this purple and then it goes into this like pink ombre. So, I am... Whew, so excited about this color. I think I might actually wear this wig for Halloween. I am going to a Halloween like shindig. Small pandemic friendly shindig. And um, I think this one, this wig is definitely going to turn heads. But I don't know like what the rest of my costume is going to look like. But it don't matter because this hair is going to slay. This wig is definitely big head friendly. So if you got a big head, you are good to go. So make sure you use the straps to adjust it to tighten it because you do you will have some room in the back. It is curling iron safe to up to 400 degrees. And let's see. So yeah, that's usually like the easy specs of this wig. Um, with my experience as far as getting it out of the box. And we all know when synthetic wigs are like highly colored, they tend to frizz a lot. So... I do have some frizzing um, straight out of the box. I'm just letting y'all know. So you will need to use some mousse or some wig spray, a little bit of water, you know, whatever your magic potion is to get your wig together. You will have to use that to kind of get the flyaways and the frizziness together. Because this is a long wig, I could definitely see this tangling at the end, but this is gonna be one of those wigs that just keep on giving. So if you feel like it's getting a little rat tat tat it. At the bottom, you can always cut it, and it still will be just as gorgeous as when you first got it out of the box. So, yeah, this is one of those ways you definitely have for a long time, depending how long you take good care of it. Now, there's not really too much that I need to say about this wig because what you see is what you get. It's just pretty. It That's just it. Sometimes a wig is just gorgeous sometimes we get so caught up in these one one b's twos and fours that we don't like we're not able to appreciate like a color wig it could be because um i don't know because where we're we gonna wear it to if it's not really your style but with me baby i'm definitely gonna wear this out i this is not gonna be one of those wigs that i'm gonna sell it's going to be 
in my stockpile so that I could pull it out when I just want to, you know, be a showstopper. Because that's what this brings. Now, this hair is very long. Like I said, I am 5'6". So, I am going to try to back up some. And that way, y'all can see how long it is. So, it is really long. So, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be quiet. And I'm going to give y'all a quick 360. Because um, I know y'all want to see how it looks in the back. So, this is how the hair looks all in the front. Look, it's just, whoo. Just look at that. Just... I love the wave pattern in this. Just imagine if it was in like a solid color. Child. It's one of those wigs that you didn't know was that gorgeous. And you might got to go back and get it in a natural color. Okay. This is how the hair looks on the right side. It is. It's like thin and full. I think the waves give it body. Um, but it has a great density. I must say that. This is how the hair looks all in the back. I don't know if you can like fully see it. This is how the hair looks all in the back. The gradient in the back. This is how the hair looks on the right side. And once again, this is how the hair looks all in the front. So yeah, y'all, this is gorgeous. Especially if you did it like one little like piece behind the ear. Oh yes. Oh, yes. They did a great job with this wig. Let me adjust that. Um, they did a great job. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this shirt. Like, the collar won't stay up. It won't stay folded down. Uh, yeah, I was a little lazy because I didn't want to, like, you know, put fabric over it and then iron it for it to, like, stay put. But anyway, I'm trying to tuck it down. But y'all get the... Whatever, yeah, get the gist. It's all about the hair. But yeah. This hair. Oh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me just let me get off. And y'all go check out my next label. Before y'all do that, y'all let me know what y'all think about this hair color, this hairstyle in the comment section below. I will definitely post a link on where I purchased this unit in the description box as well. And yeah, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and grab this. I don't care if y'all like, but I don't wear this. <laughs> Wear it for your birthday. Wear it for New Year's. Just get it for a Halloween party or a Halloween Zoom party. You know, just just get it. Because this is just one of those wigs that it's just going to take you to a whole new level. And it's fun. Yeah, I'm having too much fun, y'all. Y'all already know when y'all have too much fun, y'all just keep playing with it. Y'all keep looking. And let me just stop. Let me keep my hands out of it. And let me just bring it up to y'all a little bit more so y'all can get some of this color. This gorgeous color. No, yeah, because I don't got it glued. Y'all already know. Um, just look at that. Look at the pink. And in the pink at the bottom, you do see highlights of the um, fuchsia. So the pink definitely does have like a definition. And it does have a balance with the fuchsia. But y'all, that looks nice. Great work. I don't have any bleeding of color on my hands, which is great. Um, but like I said, it will fred and you will get some shedding. But until then, y'all, make sure y'all stay beautiful. Make sure y'all stay positive. Make sure you check out my next leg. Also, um, yeah, y'all can try, you know, these other colors as well. Actually, you know what? This doesn't even come in um, natural colors. This line is just strictly for watercolors. So, sorry, y'all. But if you're daring and you want to try something, definitely go for this. I highly recommend it. All right, y'all.